Hi everyone, GNS scientist Cornell Durand will join you in just a moment. But before we commence our dive today on the GNS 4000, for your comfort and safety, please note the handrails in front of you. Or if you need to stop the ride, push the red emergency stop button above you. Welcome aboard everybody, and uh, it's good to see you all here to uh, join us on this uh, deep diving experience to the bottom of Brothers Volcano. And today I'm going to show you some wonderful things on the sea floor. So strap yourselves in, it's going to be a little bit rough as we take off, and I'll get back to you very shortly. GNS 4000 launching in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to be diving down to Brothers Volcano today at a depth of about 1,650 metres. You'll notice uh, there's a bit of turbulence today, so you'll be getting knocked around a little bit in the capsule, but don't worry, it'll all get quite calm in due course. Hi again, sorry we have to leave you there, but um, we're running off batteries here, so we like to conserve all of our power until we get to the sea floor. Now we're going to show you a little video, just to show you where we're going to go. The Kemerik Arc is an extension of the Taupo Volcanic Zone, and runs northeast past White Island, up towards Tonga. It's an undersea chain of volcanoes, and some of these guys are the size of Mount Ruapehu. On our expedition today, we need to collect a number of samples from the largest volcano in the area, Brothers. That's it there, right below us. We'll begin our dive landing just below the cone. So you guys are just about at the bottom now, but don't worry, I'm back up here on the ship guiding you around, so uh, you're in safe hands. Okay, GNS 4000 is on the bottom. Welcome to Brothers Volcano. You know, more people have been on the surface of the moon than have been down here. And you know, for all the times that I've done this, every single time I get this wonderful feeling of calmness. It's very quiet, it's very still, and you look out the window and you realise that you have two kilometres of water sitting on top of you. We're on the northeast flank of the cone, we can see an incredible amount of sulphur here some of which we find around vents such as these, where the hot water pouring out has an acidity similar to car battery acid. And here we have the shrimps just minding their own business, travelling through this very, very acidic water as we travel further up towards the summit. The cone we're on is about the size of Mount Eden, but it's dwarfed by the caldera which we're inside, which is about three kilometres across. Now we're going to go across the caldera floor over towards the northwest wall. And you can imagine at this step that the pressure is bone crushing. Hey, look at this. You wouldn't have seen one of these before. This is a purple ghost shark. Look at the really large eyes it has, but it's a wonder it needs them at all because of course it's pitch black down here. You're only seeing them because of our floodlights. Because this is a scientific expedition, we're hoping to take a few samples back with us. Our robotic arms enable us to sample all sorts of things off the sea floor, like liquid samples, animals, rocks. Oh, don't worry, we're not gonna take this jab with us. Look at him, isn't he a magnificent specimen? Maybe we can throw some light on them here. We'll get the, some of the other floodlights to turn on. And um, we might see what happens commonly with these guys is that the texture on their skin will change, particularly if they get annoyed. Yeah, the texture's changing all right. I think we've annoyed them enough. Time's ticking by and our batteries are getting low, so we better move on towards our next site, which is the Northwest Caldera Wall. This is where we want to take our samples from for this expedition. It's quite hazardous around here with respect to navigation and we need to be particularly careful. Actually folks, we've just momentarily lost our compass. Just have to wait for all this turbidity to clear. 
You have no compass at all, Roger. Where are we? Well, sorry about that, folks. We've just knocked over what we've come here to sample. Look there in the distance. Yeah, here they come out of the murkiness. Look, some of them, that one in front, that's probably standing three or four metres high. But we're obviously here amongst all the chimneys. This looks like a particularly big field to me. I'll never forget that first time I saw a black smoker here at Brothers. It just appeared out of nowhere, this fantastic chimney with these enormous plumes of black smoke. These are incredible examples here of what we call beehive chimneys. Can you see that bulbous top to the chimney? And here we have a number of shrimps just bathing in the hot waters that comes on the exterior of the chimney. And these long neck barnacles remind me of fronds and palm trees. sample these guys and we have a look inside one of these chimneys you'll see these beautiful metallic looking minerals we found copper lead zinc and even gold take a look at that temperature gauge these are really hot when 300 degrees hits two degrees we get this tremendous chemical reaction all the metals that were in solution at 300 degrees are very very unhappy and they form these huge clouds of black smoke these chimneys are impressive, but certainly not as spectacular as an eruption we witnessed just south of Japan. Check this out. That is amazing. I hope you had a good time on your short little journey with us to the bottom of the sea floor at Brothers Volcano and hope we see you back here again someday. All right, so it's time to get back. We're running a little bit low on battery power here, so we're going to take a quicker than normal route to the surface, so you better hold on tight.